How do the judges examine the witnesses? The pair of witnesses that arrives first is examined first. The judges bring in the older one of the witnesses, separating him from his partner, and say to him, Tell us how you saw the new moon. Was the unlit part of the new moon turned towards the sun or away from the sun? Was the moon on the northern side of the sky or the southern side of the sky? How high was the moon from the horizon? Which way was it, i.e. the lit crescent of the moon pointing, to the north or to the south? To the north or the south. How wide was the crescent? If the witness said that the moon's unlit part was turned toward the sun, he has said nothing. That is, his answer is false and his testimony is rejected. After they examine the first witness, they bring in the second witness and examine him, asking him the same questions that they asked the first. If their words are consistent, i.e., there are no serious contradictions between the two witnesses, their testimony is valid. The judges then ask all the other pairs of witnesses about the main points of their testimony without going into detail. This is done not because they are needed for the testimony of the first pair of witnesses has already been accepted, but only so they will not leave disheartened that they do not have to testify before the judges. To prevent them from feeling that the journey has been wasted, the witnesses are asked to give some testimony so that they will be encouraged to come regularly to testify about the new moon in the future.